Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good morning everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, having uh, a wonderful weekend. Hope everybody is living uh, their best life to their ability. And just hopefully all you guys uh, are just uh, very, very happy. Uh, before we go uh, on to uh, the video, just again, uh, another announcement. Uh, as I started talking about last week, uh, the third installment of uh, the PS60 Workshop 3.0 is going to be uh, August the 24th, okay? A uh, little bit later, I know a lot. Of, I got a lot of emails about this. A uh, little bit later, either today or tomorrow, uh, there's finally going to be a link uh, towards it. And what we did was uh, we decided to give that whole gap month kind of um, uh, a complimentary a uh, complimentary view of the live webinar. So basically, if you sign up tomorrow, uh, which is July the 29th, okay? If you sign up tomorrow, you'll have from July the 29th, and we're also including an extra month uh, in the live webinar uh, with uh, the workshop. So if you sign up tomorrow, for example, you'll have the live webinar from July the 29th all the way to September 24th. So there's a lot of a lot of time in between to see uh, exactly how these pivots work. They work live. There is no editing. There is no Photoshop. There is no, this is it. As long as you have eyeballs, uh, you could really appreciate uh, the power of the pivot. Um, so more information will be that out. You could follow our uh, Twitter account, whatever the case may be. I know Kenyon and Kyler and Alex are doing a great job uh, with all the, uh, all the information should be out uh, later, uh, either today or uh, tomorrow. So I kind of wanted to get that out the way. Uh, so that's that. So um, before we go into uh, the review of the week, a really good week. I had a really good reversal on Netflix. Uh, the craziness that, that continues uh, with all these IPOs, um, just CRWD and ZM and the craziest one of all, uh, BYND, which uh, I know a lot of you guys did very, very well with uh, this week with some really good, tr strong trading with that. I, I, I think I want to cover something that you know, social media, you know, it, it's almost a taboo subject that everybody goes through. And unfortunately, uh, nobody talks about. Uh, again, if you go on, especially Instagram, I think Instagram is probably the absolute worst in um, depicting a complete opposite image of what every trader goes through. And that is this quote unquote trader lifestyle that the mid 20s, early 20s guy, gal is going through with the Ferraris and the and the exotic trips and this, that, the other thing. And the problem with that is it's all nonsense, okay? It's absolutely all nonsense. Anybody who's traded, uh, anybody who's traded for a very, very long time will, will really, you know, paint you a completely different picture. And the one thing that nobody, well, I can't say nobody, at least, at least to, to, my, uh, um, uh, to, to my knowledge, nobody talks about is the mental health side of what a trader goes through. And um, I've been... Um, I've been a really strong, um, really strong, uh, really strong evidence of what unfortunately mental uh, health can do to you. And it's a very, very uh, serious subject. Okay. Uh, again, for all you guys who don't know that that time between 2001 and 2003 was the darkest, the absolute darkest. And again, I've said this numerous times. It's not really something I'm... Um, um, I'm just saying today for the first time. And at that time, I think my, my mental health capacity was at its lowest. Okay. And, you know, again, it was the darkest times for me and I, I just didn't want to live. It's just, it was just one of those unfortunate periods of my life. Those two years, I just didn't want to live. I, I felt that the walls were closing in on me every single day. And unfortunately, more traders, especially new traders, because of uh, because of the, the, the glorification of this amazing uh, trader lifestyle, people go through this every single day, okay? And I think mental health by itself is a very, very serious subject. But when you throw in real dollars and cents, okay, and attach it to people's lives, okay, people's 
family matters, people's bills, their tuitions, their mortgages, their car payments, it really amplifies a thousand times over. So what the average person is dealing with, again, we all know life is not fair, okay? It's just not fair. Sometimes, again, you turn around and you say, wow, I am so blessed in my life because I have running water. I have uh, electricity. I have a roof over my head. You don't realize that people every single day, babies are born into into disease, poverty, third world countries. And you, you, you take a step back and you say to yourself, oh my God, what am I really complaining about? My small insignificant problems that I missed the trade on Beyond or I messed up the trade on Netflix or I misread NVIDIA. And you really, you really appreciate what you have. The problem is when you're talking about mental health in dollars and cents, it's a whole different story. And I know going through personal experience, okay, after I, you know, I did pretty well during the dot-com days and you go get that two-year span that I couldn't make any money, the, the brain capacity and the love for, for living life was out the window. And again, uh, I, I just, I am very fortunate that that last moment of hope for me um, kind of got me to where I, I am today because it was very, very dark. And unfortunately, what I see on social media is young kids. I mean, that's what they are. I mean, young kids, 22-year-olds fighting with 25-year-olds, fighting with 23-year-olds. And instead of, instead of being compassionate, okay, instead of being compassionate to what trader goes through, because you're going through the same thing. There's nothing you can tell me that if you're trading less than three years, that your mental capacity is not shrinking by the day. You can't tell me your mental capital is not depleting every single day because a lot of you guys, unfortunately, do not have a trading process. You, you've been through the, I blew up my account more than once, more than twice, more than three times. So you're mentally shutting down subconsciously. And the last thing you need is more weight on your brain, okay? More uh, outside, uh, you know, outside interference from family issues, whether you're having a tough, a tough time with your spouse, uh, your job, for whatever, you know, for whatever reason, uh, is not working out for you. So you're bringing all these things, all these heavy burdens that you're holding on your shoulders, and you're bringing them into the trading day every single day. And the last thing I tell every single trader, especially in the live webinar, if you ever wake up in a bad mood, don't trade. If you ever had a fight with your spouse, okay, uh, with your spouse, with your friends, with your girlfriend, uh, something is really devastating your life, okay? Don't trade because as soon as you click that mouse, every single trade that you're going to take is going to be emotionally amplified. And unfortunately, what you see on social media is young kids destroying mentally other young kids who are exactly in the same place as they are mentally because you're going through the same thing. And, and again, I just don't get it. Again, the one thing that I've been very, very lucky, okay? I, I, I don't have that many friends compared to 10, 12 years ago that are still trading. But I know if I have an issue, if I'm going through something mentally, if I can't get going for a couple of days, whatever the case may be, I can talk to them, okay? The, the one luxury that we have as a trading community, when I say not just acts as a trader, just a trading community, whether it's stock, Twitch, Twitter, whatever the case may be, and you have the fortunate ability to speak to other traders. So instead of attacking another trader over a trade, a, a relevant trade, because again, when you're 22, 23 years old, come on, man, you're not making 100 grand on that trade. You're trying to fight for 100 bucks. So instead of tearing down mentally another trader that you're going through, okay, sympathize with them. If they're wrong, they're wrong. Help them. If they can't see something that you're seeing technically, logically, fundamentally, help them out. What you're doing is tearing down their mental walls to the point that mental health goes to zero. And unfortunately, the shoe will be on the other foot. If you're 21, 22, 23, 26 years old, eventually that mental, that mental hat will be worn by you. Okay. And the last thing you need is other 22, 23, 24 year olds that are trying to prove something to the world. And again, just a little, you know, a little, little hint, nobody cares. Okay, any guy like, like me who's been trading for 20, 15, 20, 20, you know, 20 years, we don't care. Okay, we don't care. We care about the dollars and cents on the other side of our trade. 
we're going through the same thing you are. So I will never tear down another trader. I will never, you know, put another trader in the position that they will have the darkest days. I've lived it, okay? I've lived it. You guys are a community. You guys are a band of brothers and sisters. Your spouse, your other friends, your coworkers, they don't care about your trading problems. And if you start attacking, okay, attacking because of a self-mechanism, a subconscious disorder that you have, okay, if you start attacking other traders, other people that are going through the same thing mentally you are, you are depleting the pool of people that can relate to your problems, okay? And the last thing you want to do is be alone and have the best part of your day is going to sleep like I did for, for several years. And the last thing you want to do is really have that mental, mental block that unfortunately so many traders go through that they can't recover and they leave their business. So, uh, you know, again, I, I look, this is a very competitive business. At the end of the day, this is, you know, you could be on the same team trading together, but at the end of the day, it's you versus the person on the other side of the trade, okay? Whether you mess up the trade, win the, you know, win your interval, lose your interval, or tie, whatever the case may be, you're standing there by yourself. And if you're not mentally ready, okay, if you don't have that necessary support system, of other traders, just people that you can relate to, okay? You will have a very, very tough time. And if you don't have a process, it makes it impossible, okay? My advice, look, I, I believe that people should have people in their corners, okay? I have personal relationships with pretty much everybody in the live webinar. We text all the time, we email all the time, I speak to people on the phone all the time, because again, I never wanna put somebody else in that position that I've went through Okay, in my darkest days. And for all you guys, unfortunately, who don't have the ability, who don't have the resources that you can call another trader, okay, or email another trader, or even, you know, tweet at another trader to help you, that's what you're lacking. This is where your biggest support system is going to be, you know, is going to be very, very deficient to your development. And if you do have that luxury, okay, if you do have the ability to contact another trader and say, hey, look, you know, again, we don't need to be alpha males. We don't need to be strong at all times. We don't need, uh, you know, to put up that barrier that nothing's wrong, okay? Sometimes, again, I'm so comfortable in my own skin, you know, we need a shoulder to, to, to cry on, okay? Again, even if you're not physically crying, we need that support system. We need that person in our corner who's going to understand what we're going through. And again, for all you new traders, again, I understand you're trying to prove yourself right? You're trying to show everybody how smart you are. It's all bullshit. Okay. It's all bullshit. We're human beings. Like I say, every single week, we believe the same. We cry the same. We laugh the same. We love the same. Support your traders, support your brother and sister at arms. I'm telling you, it's only gets easier, the better support system you have. And again, if anybody is struggling mentally, if you feel that you can't go on. If you feel like the walls are closing in, again, I don't know a lot of you guys, okay? I only, only know, interact with, with Twitter or stock tweets, whatever the case may be. But again, you can always reach out. I'll help you any way I can. But again, it's so important to really tackle the mental health aspect uh, of trading so you can, you know, you can get back on the, on the horse uh, and start taking baby steps to where you want to be. So hopefully... Uh, you know, some of you guys who are, are not mature enough to understand this, kind of take this to heart and help your brother and sister at arm. Don't tear them down because, again, one day you will need to be uh, the person on the other side of that request. And, again, if there's nobody there to help you, it becomes very, very dark very, very fast. So God bless there. So uh, let's start talk about the week. Uh, again, incredibly aggressive week. Uh, big reversals in Netflix. We talked about Netflix. Uh, we talked about Netflix uh, last week. Last week, I believe, if we didn't, I apologize. I think I thought we did. Um, again, 80, 80, 85 points down uh, from highs to low on Netflix. Uh, this was one of the biggest uh, reversals of the week. Uh, I actually tweeted this out. Um, I, I tweeted this out. I, again, I don't want to call it the bottom because it wasn't the bottom, uh, but there was an area that we kind of, you know, we kind of knew that there was a very, very good chance that there was the bottom, at least a, a rounding bottom was taking place. And if you look at the 60-minute charts, and this is where 
I always tell traders, you know, look at your, you know, look at the 60 minute char charts. If you're trading the five, one minute cycle, 15 minute cycle, there's always a, a, a broader view. Okay. And if you could look at the market from an alternative, broader view, you'll get a better picture. And again, it's, it's not that I, I turned around and say, well, I called the bottom. It has nothing to do with that. I, I just took the fundamental, fundamental aspect of the PS60 theory, saw where the 60 minute view was on Tesla. And that literally became um, kind of the rounding, the start of the rounding bottom. Because again, after every single sell off, okay, no matter what it is, if it's uh, earnings driven, FDA, whatever the case may be, okay, whatever, whatever the case may be, sellers eventually get tired. Okay, and in every nothing goes straight down. Again, you have two weeks of selling straight down, and this is kind of the area. This is where I, I kind of had an idea. I really kind of had an idea that this 308 was the bottom. It was just sitting there on this linear regression line. And once they held and started reclaiming that 308, uh, that was you know turned out to be the bottom of the move. And Netflix for us was a really really uh, great trader this week. Um, again, big move. You talking about a move going from 308 into the 330s. Again, did I catch the whole move? Of course not. But uh, in every single day, there was something there, a point, two points, three points, whatever the case may be. And it made it a, a really, really exceptional uh, turnaround, uh, along with some of these IPOs. I mean, very, very strong. Uh, CRWD uh, came out with earnings, very, very strong, traded up to the 95 area. Um, well, which, what else was it? The ZM had a really nice run as well. Uh, FSLY uh, that we talked about Friday. Uh, had a big, big move. I don't even think this, this move is even done. I think they're going to catch uh, the top of the channel. So you had a very, very strong move uh, in BYND. And again, uh, again, look, he, here's my two cents on BYND. Uh, we, we've been trading now. If, you, if you're kind of watching this, even just the last several weeks, the breakout on the breakout on BYND was not 209. Okay, it was not 209. Uh, it was right here. This is the area that we talked about. This is what we talk about: the sneaky pivot. Uh, and this is obviously we'll, we'll cover this on the workshop on the 24th. But this is the area that started out the whole run, okay? The absolute whole run. And again, the 10 day moving average for all you guys who've been kind of watching uh, me for the last several years, you know that 10 day moving average, at least for me, is known as the birth of the trade. So once it confirmed the birth of the trade, it really started a very aggressive cycle. And again, you're going to turn around and say, well, this is a bubble. And uh, the, the news came out, I think they have a their bigger market cap right now than like Pilgrim's Pride, and like like 15 different, you know, 15 different stocks. OK, whatever they are, you can go online and see them. The one thing about momentum, OK, the one thing that I've, I've seen about momentum uh, in the last 20 years, there's been four stocks uh, in my career that became known as cult stocks. Uh, the first one was IOMEGA. A lot of you new guys will know what that is. But for all you guys who are trading the last 15, 20 years, IOMEGA was, was basically Tesla on steroids. Okay. The second stock was Taser. Okay. If you guys remember 2003, 2004, all the way up to 2005, Taser was, and I've mentioned this one before, Taser was the alternative. Okay. If you guys remember, all these police shootings started. So this was kind of the alternative a non-invasive way to kind of stop a criminal without killing them. And they started getting all these little orders, you know, 15 tasers, 20 tasers, all these police departments and taser, all it kept on doing every single day, up to $3, up to $3, up to $3. I mean, just explode, right? And people back then were saying, well, it's only, 50. how can a stock go from X to Y in such a short period of time? And they have really no fundamentals. They really have no money. Yeah, they were right. But again, nobody cared. Momentum really uh, seized the day. Tesla became a very, very hated stock. Well, how could how can they possibly move higher, right? How could Tesla ever go higher? You have a crazy bat nuts CEO. You have debt off the wazoo. Blah 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 blah. They can't kill it, right? It's like a zombie. You can't kill it. Okay, we'll talk about Tesla in a second. Um, but and, and then and then this BYND is now officially. And again, Monday they have earnings, so you're going to have a, an incredibly an incredibly important interval in BYND's existence, okay? But now this is full-blown momentum. Nobody cares, guys. I'm telling you right now, if you've been shorting the stock, if you, if you were unfortunate enough at, the, at this juncture uh, to have uh, a short on this thing, I still think 80% of 
traders didn't. I know I, I know I didn't. OK, I, I know I don't have a locate. Uh, again, can I get a locate through a third party, probably paying about 15, 20 cents? I guess I can. But why? Why right now? Right. There's absolutely no reason why. Um, look, will the stock eventually have a 50, 60 point pullback? Absolutely. OK, absolutely. Any uh, any crazy stock, TLR, TLRY, uh, that, 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 that blockchain stock, again, I don't remember, remember the symbol on it. It went to 300 and came right back. So look, eventually this thing will have a pullback. Is it going to be tomorrow? Is it going to be Tuesday? Is it going to be three weeks from now? We don't know. But this is definitely has, uh, it definitely has the look of the next cult stock. So again, congratulations for you guys uh, who've been in this thing uh, all week. I mean, just an absolute ridiculous, ridiculous move. And you start seeing some crazy call buying into earnings, the 300s, really, I mean, the 300s. I mean, listen, if it gets there, God bless. But really, are you putting down 175K, right, for a two-day rental? 300 calls, listen, we'll see what happens there. Uh, but ultimately, again, we're in an incredibly strong market right now. Uh, again, like I've been saying every week, we're going to melt up to Labor Day. And when all the... When all the participants finally can't come back from vacation, from the Hamptons, from this, from that, from Jersey Shore, uh, from Rhode Island, whatever, they, wherever you're somewhere, wherever the big money finally comes back, we'll start getting the true nature of the market. Until then, again, guys, just don't overthink. Just ride the momentum. Wait for sneaky ranges. Buy strong stocks into 60-minute channels. That's what we've been doing in the live webinar now for a while. It's really, really a terrific way. Uh, to get better prices while the trend is still intact and just keep on going with the flow. Again, don't overthink. Don't, no, don't tell me, some guy told me when, when, when the stock was at 180, you got to be crazy buying this at 180. What about a 230? Are you crazy? Is it crazy buying a 230? Again, remember, there's no such thing as overbought. Okay. Fair value is the closing price on that day what somebody's willing to pay for the trade. Uh, Amazon was trading at a PE of 3,000, okay, 3,000, okay? This was 1,800 points ago, okay? So don't tell me you're smarter than, you know, price action, because again, we are all idiots. I'm the king of the idiot. Please, nobody will come close to that title. But the one thing, you know, the one thing that I figured out a long time ago, my opinion doesn't mean anything. If confirmation to the upside works, then it's gonna keep working. If confirmation to the downside works, that it's going to keep working as well. So be careful out there. Be careful. Let the market dictate to you where's your next move. So uh, let's talk about Friday session. Um, again, man, it's just it's a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of good stuff out there. Um, and the most important thing is you're, you're getting really good opportunity every single day. Again, for all you guys in the live webinar, on the Twitter feed and stock Twitter feed, again, we, we, don't, we, don't sh we don't cherry pick these things to show you guys over the weekend. Whatever, you know, whatever the pivot is, is the pivot. That, that's it. I mean, we've trade, uh, we trade the most aggressive stocks, but the most controllable areas where the highest probability that volume will take place. That's the arbitrage we found. That's the whole point of the PS60 theory. We figured out where the volume will kick in, and if it really does, it usually will have a good uh, measure of potential. So let's talk about it. So Amazon, uh, and you can, again, you can see this is 8.53 uh, a.m. Uh, Eastern time, held 19.40 twice pre-market. If it builds below, it can flush. Again, experience only, traders only. Again, not every single trader is for, and not every single trade is for every single trader. And I said lower bully measure potential 1923. And here's why, right? Here's Amazon. If you look at the 60 minute view, right? If you look at the 60 minute view, uh, this was right here. Here, you can see it right here. This was uh, 1940, right? 1940 is the low here. Uh, 1940 is the low here. So it breaks, you know, breaks to 1940, confirms uh, and goes all the way down to 1924. I said 1923, oops, by a dollar. But again, that's the whole point of the PS60 theory. Uh, went down to 124 and change. So good job there uh, for all you guys caught that. Uh, CRWD continues to be just a, a really, really strong trader. Um, very strong name. Uh, rejection uh, twice pre-market at 94. If it, builds, if it builds above, can go. Here was CRWD. Here was 94, right? Here was 94 right here. 94 is the pre-market high here. Next, next candle high is 94. And it breaks 94 and starts building and goes to 95 and a half. Again, does every single need, move need to be eight, ten dollars? Yeah, we would love it. Okay, but you know, cash flow is cash flow is cash flow. So good move there. 
Uh, Tesla, you know, nice move on down on Tesla initially, uh, 224, 30, 224. If it builds below, it can flush. Here was a Tesla pivot. Here was a Tesla pivot right here, right? Here's a 224 area. And once it built, it went down to uh, 222. Again, good job for all you guys uh, who took that as well. Uh, Chewy, Chewy never got out there. Very, very surprised Chewy never got out there. I, I, I still like Chewy. If it starts building above the, the 34 area, uh, FSLY, again, the, the, these IPOs uh, have been really, really strong and they're kind of rotating into them. Uh, FSLY, recent IPO, needs to reclaim uh, 23.30. So here's uh, FSLY. Uh, here's FSLY. And here's the 23. Here's the 23.30, right? Here's the daily chart, the 23.30. Uh, went to about 25. I uh, still like it. I still think it goes higher. This one I've been watching for two weeks, and it just doesn't want to trigger. It just doesn't want to trigger. This ADPT, if this thing ever wakes up and joins the living, this will be, I'm telling you, this will be a rock star trade. Uh, you can see how many times it got rejected at 41, 41, 41, 41, 41. If this damn thing ever starts building over 41, I think this thing has like 6 million float. Just saying. Uh, look how much airspace you have to, to the IPO high. So keep this uh, similar for you guys, uh, 41 on this ADPT. Eventually it will break. And when it does, it's going to be very, very good. Uh, Starbucks, really good earnings. Okay. Um, really, really good earnings. Uh, 9750 uh, needs to build. Okay. Uh, 9750 needs to build. Um, yeah, again, here's 9750. It breaks 9750, starts building, and Starbucks goes to almost 100. I, I like it on dips. Uh, going into uh, Monday, so good move there as well. Uh, Twitter, again, tw 41, that huge level, both on the 60-minute and the daily needs to build or it will fail. Again, whole number areas, if they can't reclaim within the first couple of minutes, the trade will fail. That's why I said max risk, uh, only 20 cents. That's how important that level is. And Twitter, you know, Twitter did its thing, right? Twitter did its thing. Here was 41 on the 60-minute high. Here was 41 on the daily high. Both got confirmed and stock went to 42 and change. Uh, what else? What else? What else do we have here? Uh, TX. Yeah. So here was a perfect sneaky pivot. And this is where a lot of traders ask me, well, what's a sneaky pivot? What's a sneaky pivot? BYND needs a strong build over 233.50. Again, experienced traders only. Not every trade is right for every trader. Could test the highs. I and mean, look what this BYND did. This is, I mean, this is such, this stock is such a rock star. So, Here's the 233.50, and once it got above it, once it got above it, it just it just exploded up uh, to almost 240. Somebody tell me, you know, what? just think about this. In the middle of the day, if you get a sneaky pivot in the middle of the day, and it's good for like 50 cents to a dollar fifty, that's like considered really really good. This one put up a seven dollar candle on sneaky pivot, so an incredible incredible uh, trader this has been. Uh, eventually, retail will get clipped in this thing. They always do. So if you're a retail trader and you're just noticing the stock now. Stay away. Just telling you right now, just not for you. Stay away. Trust me, stay away. So going into this week, again, we're going to have new themes, new names, but again, same boring process. Every single day, same boring process. Some days I will take uh, eight trades. Some days I'll take two trades because again, it's not about how, much, how many you take. It's about how many you take that has value, that's giving you a decisive edge. It's not a race, okay? It's not a trade. No, it's not a, it's not a business to be right. It's a business uh, to be profitable. So it's very, very important. So let me give you guys, uh, let me give you guys some ideas. Uh, let me give you guys some ideas to, um, to get you going for this week. I, I, I put a lot of these things on the watch list uh, this weekend. Uh, let me give you guys some names that I do like. Okay, number one, FSLY. I do like higher prices. Um, here's an initial area that needs to get above, you know, 2490, 25. I believe if it starts building off this 25, it's going to test uh, the IPO high of 225.67. Obviously, if it, that uh, clears out, you have a lot more airspace above. Um, I like Starbucks on dips. Um, you know, if anybody knows me, I, I go to Starbucks, unfortunately, I, I, and I'm really bad at saying this, but I have to admit it. I, I go to Starbucks like twice a day. On the weekends, I even have lunch there. I mean, I'm bad. I'm bad. And and again, anybody in the tri-state area who lives here, you kind of know you have, a, you have a Starbucks like every 30 seconds away. Um, but it, really good earnings. Really, really good earnings. It ha hasn't really translated until this quarter in, into the global brand. But uh, Starbucks, really, really strong. What you want to do is buy stocks into a washout, into 60-minute intervals uh, that are holding the trend. So stay with that. Uh, as well. 
Um, Cintas, uh, good, you know, good consolidation, beautiful consolidation. Next leg up uh, needs to start building above this uh, 264 area. Keep an eye on that. Uh, another IPO that looks really good, it's ready to go, is this real. Okay, uh, you can see here, top of this channel here is 26. This candle here is 26. Uh, Friday's high is 25.88. You guessed it, it needs to start to build uh, over this 26 to go. And the last one, let me give you guys one more. Um, let me see what else I like. You know, I kind of like Square as well. Uh, I kind of like Square as well. I think if Square starts building above this uh, 82.80 area, right, 82 area, your next leg is to about 84 and change. So that's it, guys. Uh, I wish everybody an awesome, awesome uh, Sunday. Again, for all you guys who are interested in um, – the PS60 workshop on August the 24th. Again, you'll get the you'll get the page notification probably in the next day or so, either today or tomorrow. So if you sign up, for example, today, you're you're going to be in the live webinar. You have access to the live webinar all, all the way from tomorrow all the way to September the 24th. There's a lot of value there. Uh, it really is a lot of value there. So guys, have an awesome, awesome weekend. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. And God bless. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care, guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.